Hey, what is up? So we had a request today for me to explain my methods for targeting local business owners. Now we're not talking Steve Jobs, we're not talking any of the big ones. We're talking about little local businesses, mom and pop shops, um, maybe even a little bit bigger than that. And so I'm gonna go over um, two different strategies that I utilize. One you, leverages organic traffic and the other one is going to leverage paid, okay? And so I'm going to show you guys two very, very successful and proven strategies that I personally used myself whenever I was building my very first ad agency. Um, as you guys know, I've got 16 years of marketing in my background. So I just basically, you know, used my head, thought a little bit outside of the box. And one of the things that I really want to challenge you guys is to think outside of the internet marketing space. Um, so many of us get caught up in all of the internet marketing, all of the, the fakeness, all of the just everything. And so we have to think a little bit outside of the internet marketing space. And I know that a lot of you guys are like, you know, really like gotta be internet, gotta be internet marketing. But we have to, we have to think about if I were going to a network event, if I were going to talk to these business owners in person, what would I say? How would I act? And think about that. Is the same way that you're acting online to try to get clients the same way that you would act in person to get those clients, okay? And so now we have to take one step back and think, okay, what are two really good and different strategies that we can utilize in order to get those ideal clients? Let me fix my, my headset. Like I said, I've got construction people here today, so I'm a little disheveled in my office right now. Um, so the first strategy that I want to teach you guys is the organic, how to leverage organic traffic. Now, um, the first thing that you have to know is what is your ideal client struggling with, right? Whether it's a mom and pop, whether it is, you know, the C, the local CEO who's making about 5 million. Um, a lot of people are going to have very different problems, right? You have very different problems when your business is making 5 million versus when your business is only bringing in a hundred to $200,000 in profit, right? So a little local business owner is probably going to have a little bit different um, struggle and a different problem than most big companies. And so before we even go into targeting, we have to realize who exactly are we talking to? What are the problems, right? Um, smaller business owners have problems, um, with scaling, they have problems paying their employees, so many things to where social media, um, they're, they're not really sure how social media is gonna help them yet. And they have fallen, one of the things that I found is that a lot of local businesses have already found um, fallen prey to, as prey to all of these internet marketers who are promising them the world and charging them like $2,000 a month in ad spend, which you and I know from, a real marketing perspective, some businesses don't need to be spending $2,000 a month on Facebook ad services. So we could sell them that's something a little bit smaller. Um, and so just, just before we go into the targeting, I just want to make sure that you guys understand that what we're doing is we're trying to ethically sell our business. We're not trying to rip a whole bunch of people off. And so the first method that I'm going to show you guys what I did was this is how you can leverage organic traffic. And so you know, you have to think, um, where are your ideal clients hanging out, whether it's in person or whether it is on Facebook, whether it's on the internet somewhere else, where are they hanging out? And we have to try to put ourselves in front of their faces, right? If we're local, we're going to take part in the chamber of commerce. If we're online, we're going to participate inside chamber of commerce groups. We're going to go into small business groups. Now I'm not talking about the business groups where everyone's marketing to each other and you've got all of this ping pong marketing going on, right? I'm talking about like the real legit business owners who are really trying to make a difference in their business, okay? Again, I want to try to get you guys away from the internet marketing. The internet marketing space is super saturated, it's super fake, and we're trying to build a very sustainable business that, think about this, if Facebook goes away tomorrow, do you still have a business? If your business solely relies on Facebook or the traffic from Facebook, then you've got some problems that you need to work out. And so that's why I like for you guys to think outside of the box of what we're doing here. So we're going to go to Chamber of Commerce groups. The very first thing that I ever did was I looked for all of the small business owner groups. 
I looked at where they were hanging out, you know, like the chamber groups, the local networking groups, where people are having real interactions, not just everyone trying to sell things to each other. And what I did was I created content. Earlier in this, in this uh, lesson, I was saying, hey, we need to create content that talks specifically to those pain points and problems that most people are having. And so whenever I joined the chamber, I was very, very vocal. I was very helpful in answering any questions when it comes, came to social media. I never once pitched my services, but this is what I did instead, okay? This is really, this is really cool, so, so take notes here. What I did was I created three pieces of video content with no call to action. It was literally just helpful videos. One of them was three ways to know your social media manager is legit and how to find one that's not gonna rip you off. And so I literally asked the owner permission. I said, I'm not gonna promote my services, but this is gonna be super helpful because there are a lot of people in my industry that are trying to rip your business owners off. And so I just want to help you guys figure out which ones are legit and the red flags that you need to look for. And of course they didn't say, they, they were like, of course you can. Um, and so I continued to make high value content without pitching anything. And so what I did was I uploaded those videos to my business page. Okay. After I uploaded it to my business page, I saved the link to that video and then I hid it from my timeline so that on, so that when people visited my Facebook business page, they didn't see the, that content. And so then what I would do is I would post that video within the Facebook group. What did I just do there? I pixeled them, right? And so every single person that is watching my videos, I now have a custom audience of those people who've watched that specific video. And then I retargeted all of those leads who were watching my video with more content. Guess what happened? Those people liked my page. I was able to make offers on my page and those people reached out and they became my clients. I did that. I did that for several, several weeks until I literally booked out my very first agency. So that was the first strategy that I ever did. It still works. I teach it to my students um, and it still works really, really well. So that's strategy number one. That's, that's by leveraging organic traffic that you would, that you would post to your page. Okay. Now the second way is to leverage paid traffic because we know that paid is a faster way to get what we want, right? You either, you, you're either gonna spend a lot of time or you're gonna spend a lot of money. And so the second way that we're gonna leverage is paid traffic. Now, this, the strategy that I utilize is I use a seed video so that I could go broad. That video is going to pre-qualify people before I send them to a landing page with my offer for my agency, okay? So we're gonna go broad. So how do you target local people, right? Because as you guys mentioned, you know, if you try to do dentists or chiropractors, the, 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 the pickings are slim, especially when you're on a local level and you're trying to target local dentists. And so this is what I do. So if I'm, if I'm trying to go local, I'm, all, I'm always going to use certain zip codes, right? Um, if there's a certain places where a whole bunch of business offices are, I'm going to use that zip code. If there's like a business district or what, I'm going to use that zip code. And the other thing that I'm going to do, I'm not going to target based on occupation. I go, I go, like I said, I like to go a little bit outside of the box because I like to think of my ideal clients as personas, right? And so when I think of my ideal clients as personas, I start to think, what equipment are they using? So I'm going to use an example. So I'm going to take this out because this is really, this is really annoying. So that don't make fun of me. Okay. I'm going to be a geek right now. I'm going to use, I'm going to use my, my headset like this because I freaking hate having things in my ear. Um, and so basically what you have to think about is like the equipment that they use. So whenever I did um, my pizza parlor agency, right, I had to think, okay, what is the most popular brand of pizza ovens? What kind of equipment are they using? What companies are they utilizing to bring food in? And so you have to think like a pizza parlor owner. If I was a pizza parlor owner, what websites would I be visiting? What products would I be buying, right? What books am I reading? What schools did I attend? Like for chiropractors, Guys, if you're trying to target chiropractors, um, yes, you can, ta you can target chiropractors inside the occupation, but what I like to do is the schools that they attended. Um, and so whenever I have my chiropractor clients, um, we, always, we always target the schools, right? The school of chiropractory. I forget which, what the popular one is, but there's one 
that like every single chiropractor um, pretty much has gone to um, that particular school. Also, the software they use. I like to target business owners based upon the software that own the software that they use, right? You have the, those POS systems and stuff for restaurant owners. You have all of these different brands of things. Um, Infusionsoft, right, for a lot of business owners. Um, a lot of big CRMs, um, Blackbot, and all of these things. What type of software would your ideal client be using? And the places that they shop, right? There's all of these restaurant warehouse depot places where people can, where restaurant owners can get discounted restaurant equipment. And so this is going to take a lot of research on your part. But if we want to run a sustainable, legit business, we're going to have to know who our ideal audience is where they're shopping, where they're investing their money. And that's the key, is where are our ideal audiences investing their money? Because if we know where they're investing their money, they become perfect targeting options inside the Facebook ads platform. And so again, once I have this targeting laid out, then what I'm gonna do, then I'm gonna put in some different layers. And so sometimes what I like to do, especially with layering, I'll even narrow down the audience to people who only are business page admins, right? Or people who are in the chamber of commerce, right? Because you can target chamber of commerces for local, for um, business owners. Um, that's another one that I like to use a lot. But for the most part, if I'm trying to truly hit a large pocket of people, because other people who are looking for business owners, they're putting, they're dialing in chiropractors, they're dialing in doctors in the occupations. Not many people are thinking outside of the box. This right here will get you a more broad audience, but that's what that seed video is for. That seed video is gonna help you pre-qualify your audience at a much lower price than if you would just send an offer directly to these people. So it's super important that these two are going to work together. So I hope that you guys found that this is very, very valuable. So sorry about the masterclass today. Um, like I said, it's been rescheduled for Monday morning, so I hope that you guys can attend. Um, but guys, keep the questions coming. I love doing these types of trainings. Let me know below. Did you guys get a lot of value out of this training? Do you have any questions you want me to answer? Actually, let me go to the comments, make sure no one um, asked anything. Hey, 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 what is up? What is up? What is up? Anyway, you guys have an amazing day. If you guys have any questions at all, or if you want me to personally help you with a strategy, guys, utilize being in this $7 group. Because like I said, my goal is to bring the value, the most value for $7 online. And guys, do me a favor. Do me a favor. Can you please just recommend this group to one friend, one business owner friend who needs to be here? Um, my goal for the next 90 days is to fill this group with as many $7 members as humanly possible. Because there are so many people out there that are about, they're just one person away from getting scammed into a phony internet marketing marketing group. And so I want to make sure that we fill this group with a lot of people who really, really need help marketing and are looking to grow their business. So if you guys could do me a favor and share my, my, my group, it's adcoachingforseven.com. It'll take them right to the, the sales page, adcoachingforseven.com. Love every single one of you guys.